Hi, this is my March 15 update of the One Commander version 3. So it's still far from alpha version, but this is my progress so far. So right now it supports multiple windows. And right now I'm experimenting with windows without a title bar, so we have the maximum vertical space. The layout is split into favorites on the right, so it's not anymore integrated with drives. I am still trying to figure out what to do with this space. Then on the right we have preview, which shows whatever is selected, or if there is nothing selected, whichever folder is current. And in the middle there is a mirror columns with the whole navigation. So right now, um, the panels are also floated to the right as before, but I'm considering floating them to the left, similar to what Mac Finder does. So um, this panel has user defined web, and then if I open a folder, the next one will expand until the same point, but Everything else will be contracted. And you can see now the preview is showing for this folder. So if I keep on navigating, it will keep on contracting, showing the same amount of space. And the preview this is the file previewed, the same functionality as in version 2 with zoom in, switching to ActiveX, and ASCII preview. Here we come on a column, navigates back. You can use keyboard to navigate around. Now, instead of uh, edit path button here, I moved it there. And now you can type in the path, you can copy it. But there is also a search now. So if I type in two letters, it will show all the paths from favorites that have this string but i will also add at some point to search for recently opened files recently navigated paths recently changed files whatever else might be useful so if i move with the keyboard press enter it will open that path oh if i didn't mention now all the columns show files as well as the folders unlike the previous version um, Right now, there is only built-in context menu. And, well, that's pretty much it so far. If you have any ideas what I would need to prioritize, let me know. Otherwise, there is still a lot to do. And I'm trying to make it first on par with the version 2. And then at some point, I will release alpha version. And then keep on expanding on functional functionality. That's it. Cheers.